Wheat belly is not a diet. It's an articulation of an explosive and large problem in the American style of eating and the, the message broadcast internationally to eat more healthy whole grains. So the concept is wheat has changed. It's been changed completely and utterly. And removal of this thing from the human diet is, I think, among the most incredibly powerful health strategies I have ever seen. Whether it's a Twinkie or a whole grain bagel or a big, heavy, expensive loaf of multi-grain bread, it's all the same stuff. It's all made from the product of agribusiness and modern agriculture called semi-dwarf wheat. So it makes no difference what form it comes in. It's all the same stuff. The physiologic effect on humans is the same, regardless whether it's brown, white, or anything in between. Conventional wisdom is that foods like cupcakes and uh, uh, snacks are unhealthy forms of wheat and sugar, and that heavy grains, whole grains, multigrains are healthy forms of grains. But the truth is, there's not that much difference. Yeah, there's a little more B vitamins, a little more fiber but the actual wheat itself is the same no matter which form it comes in. They both have the same physiologic consequences that include very high blood sugars and the addictive properties, the appetite stimulating effects of the gliadin protein unique to wheat. It took a series of personal blunders for me to start learning these lessons. For instance, 20 years ago, I became diabetic. That happened because I followed a diet back then of cutting my fat, eliminating all meats, I became a vegetarian, and eating plenty of vegetables, fruits, and lots of healthy whole grains. Now I was jogging five miles a day and I became diabetic. It took me a while to understand what it was in my new diet that made me diabetic, but it became clear over time it was the grains. I since lost the 30 pounds I gained eating grains and I reversed the diabetes. I no longer have diabetes. But I had to learn this lesson myself, that it was the grains that caused the diabetes, it was the removal of grains, that is wheat, that allowed me to become a non-diabetic.